Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I want to just talk about this prototype um, I was working on, and this prototype is simply a medication administration um, web app. I've developed this prototype using Actual RP 8.0. Um, this is completely done using Actual RP. Uh, I've not used um, any other tools. I've not used um, Adobe XD. I haven't used um, Figma. Uh, and I've not used um, Sketch as well, apart from this uh, icon you know, um, that I got from from a website. Um, this illustration. Apart from that, this web app is completely done using Actual RP. So, um, just get straight to the point. What is Smartsheet? Uh, simply, it's a medication administration record sheet. That's what the Smartsheet stands for. And where the Smartsheet is being used is always used in, in care homes, in hospitals, anywhere they give medication at all. The Smartsheet is always needed. And the reason why this Smartsheet is used is so that we can keep accurate record of uh, when we give medication, the person we give the medication to, um, the time we give the medication, and whether we have uh, we sign the medication properly and we gave the right medication. So these are considered part of the six rights of medication administration. So, um, I've developed this simple application because I've looked at a lot of applications out there, many of which offer good features. However, many as well are developed in a way that are too complex to understand. Also, some features that are really not uh, machine features because in a care service, you're going to have different forms of systems to, to record the type of care you give. So when you are having to deal with anything medication, the only the only record where you put that information to that we actually show that this person has been you know, has been supported accurately with their medication administration is through the machine. So I've given it the name machine.com and we can simply have a web app. Now they on the home page, the landing page, the, the website, uh, the user can perform two things. They can either log into their account if they've already created an account, or they can create a free account if they haven't got an account at all and they are new to the system. So I'm going to demonstrate both the create account and also both the login account as well. So let me say I want to sign. I want to sign up and create my account. So I can say I create an admin account, and I give myself a password. I've locked this this text box against um, an input. One of the benefits of actual uh, of actual app is that it gives you the ability to do conditional logic very easily as well without having to learn how to code so you can just click that so it shows account has been created successfully please check your email to activate your account to use machine.com simple if they've not gotten the activation um, link they can click to resign activation link um, then that's it so we're just going to assume that they've activated their account because there's no way we could do that in, in actual RP, unfortunately. So we're just going to assume that the admins, uh, the administrator have already done that and we can now um, have um, our admin to log into the system. Once the admin logs into the system, the first thing they are presented with is with their dashboard. And their dashboard gives an overview of what is going on in the market in every department or every care service that they have. So some care company or, or some care providers could have more than one, one services. So they have uh, there are multiple places and they want to manage this information. So the web administrator is sitting down in the office and trying to know how this market 
is going on in every care service. So the first thing they will be able to do is to they could create a service user if they want to create a service user and simply they enter the service user's name, their allergies to medication, allergies to food and trade, or surgery. Now the reason why we have this information recorded is so that we can know the right person when we are giving the medication. That is one of the um, the six rights of medication, the right person. And we can just upload a picture here, so I've just simulated and, and upload and upload features here. So the next thing we could do again is to update the service user details. So maybe something happened and they discover that they have new allergy or their, or their GP changes name of, or the move or you know something else changes in their um, in their life which is the basic thing that they need to know before they are giving medication then they can simply the web administrator uh, the mash the machine administrator as well can also um make an update and just click this little green icon can make an update, can change their photo and upload a new one. So same thing, if anything has changed and they can update their information. Same thing goes for the deleting, they can delete information as well. And another thing I want to point is that this information is coming from a repeater widget. So um, I've just only have one row and you know, I've just have this repeater widget here. Then another thing again for the mash sheet in terms of the paper for the way it looks on the paper is very important. In fact, when CQC inspector comes, they want if they ask for that, and you don't have a system, you definitely must have a paper-based form of mash sheet. So, however, it's always good as well to have. Um, a paper a paper record so that you can print out you can share with you know with um with multidisciplinary team to make uh, maybe reviews medication review or something that in their in their care plan so they will have so um one of the the feature that i've simulated here is ability to download a, a pdf format of their the mark sheet um so once you have that, you'll be able to download uh, the copy of the mark sheet, and here as well, you'll be able to download the the record. Um, yeah, I think I might just have um, a wrong um, repeater we just showing here, but it's still the same the same logic that goes on. So we have here the service users list, and four things could go wrong. In terms of medication administration, or one thing could go right, so they could um, have um, have the medication taken without no issues. Um, they could miss the medication, they could refuse the medication, or they could be away, and they might, you know, they might simply not maybe need the medication if the medication is like um, a PRN medication, or uh, which is like uh, you know only give you when it's needed and maybe sometimes they are just away for it and they forgot now you need to be able to have um, a record as well for that so we can generate a report for that part as well and you can create staff same thing as the the service user uh, you create staff, you upload staff image, you select the department of the staff where the staff is going to be working, the username and password that they will use to log in, and maybe their staff position as well. You can record that information. Now, the reason why we need this information in terms of medication administration sheets is so that we can um, know the staff that gave the medication because one of the six rights is having the right documentation so when you've given the right person the right medication the right dose uh, the right rule the right time um you need to have the right person administering the medication so this is the reason why we have this information and we don't need to capture a lot of information we just need few few details about the staff and 
and that's the reason why this web app I've made it so simple and easy and intuitive as well because it is like what the staff are already used to so there is less there's less training you know that is involved in this system if it was to be developed fully another thing again is to have a you know an update list so you can update the list of the staff as well just as you update the list of the service user you can change the email you can you know you, or you can simply delete the record as well from the system if you want to delete your record you can delete your record from the system so this gives us the ability to to have um this this complex system in a way that is designed very simple easy and it runs seamlessly so what the the admin can do again on the dashboard it will filter through each and see the record of each person which changes the name here as well and this is the power of actual rp as well it is very flexible and it is one of the two that i highly recommend for any ux designer or any ux professional to to learn how to use um and i've not prototyped this because this is uh, this has taken me some time and we'll be able to do all that the next thing is for me to now de demonstrate how the staff can use the system so i'll just log out for example and i will log in back as the staff this time so let's say i have created an account for the staff i'll just say Janelle, and i enter the password and i log in so it shows us this information the first thing we'll see here we'll see the welcome to medication administration she's you know select medication time from the side menu to give medication and we have this little icon that i actually developed like a capsule so which is like medicine and that is where i put the marshy.com which is like medication administration sheet um and everything was done using azure rp even this this logo here was done in azure rp nothing about uh, sketch or adobe xd or figma at all so one of the things that the staff will need to familiarize themselves with is the, the ability to choose a service user that they want to give medication to or the, or the service user that is doing medication. So the first thing is to be able to select. Uh, I just have one record here, so if I click, um, there's nothing that will show. But this is a dynamic panel and it will, it will go through each of the records that you have you know, well, within the dynamic panel state so here at the top right corner we have the six right like i said in there as well the six right is the right person medication dosage route time and documentation um it doesn't matter in which order we we have them bought it's more important to have the right person first then we look for their medication and we check the medication we check the dose we check how we're going to give them medication and we check the time we're going to give the medication and we will sign properly for the medication that is how paper-based uh machine works and also that is how online or any form of um, electronic or web application machine as well is designed to work so um you will see we have the um the left panel here shows the details of the service user the center screen shows you know where you know actions will be happening and the, the right panel shows about medication currently we've not selected any medication so we cannot see any details of the medication here at all here we can read more about each of the medication on the bnf or uh, the bnf um, website as well and here we can see the medication stock level for each of the medication and we can reorder on this panel report below the center screen panel we can also see the record of the medication that has been given to this person over a period of time and we can filter through that information as well to narrow it down now i'm just going to demonstrate how we're going to end now if i check for example 
I will assume we've not entered any record into it, so we don't really have any medication list here. So I'm just gonna um just had a record here, and this is um this is working through the repeater widget as well. I'm just gonna enter some sample record which is for the dosage, let's say it's 5 ml and I have also next the direction everything and if there's any other information that we need to know we can enter it as well if we want that to be taken we can select when the medication is to be taken and the quantity we receive from the pharmacy because once you as the care worker or the support worker or the individual who is buying this uh, medication or who went to the GP or the soldier or the pharmacy to collect this information, we can now come back home and record this medication into our medication administration sheet and we know how many of these medication record we, we have. So once we've done that, we can enter that information and it gives us this uh, this detail to preview and we can simply click save. Once we click save, it shows us this message, our uh, medication has been added successfully and if we look at the medication list here, we can see that the medication has been added um, here. Let's try if we can if we enter another medication whether that role is gonna be split. Hopefully it will this issue is playing, but let's just see. Although I've not tested that part here for the second row. So um now I have the medication name which is um uh, respiridon. I have the medication type which is liquid, I have here which is 5 ml, I have here which is um, here. previous one which is I'll just say at night and I'll just say um, this medication, if I'll just leave that part and i can say here let's say in the lines and let's say here we have 25 for example so i enter this information you can see the information changes we save this record and we can have this we have these two um information shows here all right well i've not really tested that part but that should work fine so we have this information that is being recorded into the bar sheet we have this information this new role is being added now if the the staff want to give their medication they simply come here and they can simply give their medication so in the morning there's two medication that is ready to be given and they can select the next one and all you know so they can simply enter any comments give the medication and they can say medication administered which shows this little animation that the medication has been administered and as we can see the medication we've been given we have a message shown is in the right panel here which if we click any of the the times the medication shows if we click next for example it shows the respirator here it shows the respirator what the respirator is the side effect and thing and the care worker can read more information about it on the BNF because a service users can actually ask um, the staff oh, what's this medication for and it is right for the um, the service the, the staff or the support worker or the carer to have the understanding of what the medication is for and if they don't have and they want to refer to something they can simply just read through it from the BNF and it will open a link and they will be able to see what um, the medication is for and give the service user the right information so as you can see on this right panel as well we have this information that is recorded by the admin you know in terms of the allergy the gp surgery and everything is is really is done in such a way 
that makes it really, really very sleek and intuitive. Not a complicated system. And the way it is done is to, to ensure that you give medication accurately and you just follow the six right without having the need to, to fiddle with paper based form as well. I hope you, you and this site, this application, I actually developed it using ActuRP. And like I said, if you have any comments, any queries at all, you can let me know, leave it in the comment section, and I'll be glad to answer them. And if you have any feedback for me, you can also let me know as well. I will take that on board and see how to improve the system better. Um, so, yeah. If you have any work for me as well in terms of prototyping, you can always um, give me a shout out and I'll be able to help you as well. I hope you have enjoy uh, this little piece of demo and the next demo I'm going to show you is actually how I did this thing in, in actual RP as well. I, um, so that you can see the power of this too. Um, like I said, this page, this this website only has three pages. It has the home page, it has the admin page, and it has the staff page. The other thing inside of the pages are dynamic panels, repeater widgets, and just interaction, you know, conditional logic. It's just so good to be able to use a tool like Action RP because no other tool in the market right now is actually comparable to what you can actually do with actual RP. So, thank you again for watching, and I hope to get some feedback from you guys. Thank you, and bye for now. So, I'm just going to log out and back to the home page.